Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. Uh, today I want to talk about customizing your tender, your battery tender, your trickle charger, your battery charger to work with the factory Harley-Davidson tender plug. Um, we do a ton of lithium batteries here, like this Braille G30 lithium. And the issue is it comes with a charger like this, which comes with the standard alligator clamps. So with the Harley tender, you just plug it into the factory charging port and just leave it, forget it. To do it this way, you either have to take the seat off and then take the battery cover off because you can't reach the positive terminal or you have to go on the bottom and clip it on to remove the plastic cover over the starter and then clip it on to the starter bolt and somewhere along the frame. The issue with doing it that way is a lot of these bikes have anodized parts on them or chromed out parts or uh, we have a lot of clients that have those rubber covers on all the bolts so then there's actually no bolt head to clip onto. So what we did was went on Amazon and ordered a bunch of these tender plugs. They're really cheap. They're under $10. So what we do is we cut this and we cut the alligator clips off, but we install an XT60 connector. So if you want to charge the battery on the bench, you can put the alligator clips back on. The issue with doing it that way, with this way, is you have to be really careful. You got to remember this tender wire is set up to go on the battery and then you would plug your tender into this side. So being that it's set up to go on the battery, when you feed power back the other way, because we're going to use this side to plug into the factory Harley port. My apologies. So the problem with doing it this way is we're hooking up backwards because we're sending power in through this side. So these prongs end up being backwards. So it will plug in, but you have to be very careful when you do it because the red is actually going to be your negative. So what I do so I don't get confused is... And I've tested a thousand times, but you can go to your bike to verify. When you plug it in, on the motorcycle side, there's a little positive and negative here. So you can take that and trace it back and see which one's your positive side. I'm 100% sure that with the connectors I use, this ends up being the negative. You know because it's got the fuse on it. So I like to do that one first so I don't get confused. So I'll cut it here, the side that has the fuse. Then I'll go to the blue wire on the braille, and I'll cut that connector off. But I don't want you to make the same mistake that Bobby made, because he did a few for me and he made them too short. So what you want to do is take a razor and split this down. Give yourself a good 6 to 12 inches. Then you're going to cut the blue one. And the blue one's going to get attached to... The negative, which is the line that had the fuse on it, you're going to throw that away. Then you're going to do the same with the brown and attach it to the positive side. So let me show you what it looks like when it's all finished. So we have one here. It's completely done. So we use XT60 connectors because they can flow a ton of current. So now it's serviceable. Quick disconnect. There's your alligator clips. And then here's the tender side that's going to plug right in. So you're talking less less than twenty dollars in parts and you now have a factory harley style so now that you've upgraded the lithium in your bike use the tender that came with it because you can't use your harley tender because it won't charge your lithium so use the tender that came with your lithium battery you attach sex t60 and you plug it in using your factory harley tender now if you have a battery that's on the shelf or you removed your lithium from the bike for whatever reason you could just take this plug off, put the standard alligator clips back on, and go ahead and charge the battery that way. So you go ahead, here's your positive, here's your negative, and you've converted it back to a standard battery charger. Then you go ahead and take this plug off, plug this plug back in, and then walk over and plug it into your bike and charge up your battery that way. I'm going to take you over to the solder station, and uh, I'm going to do one for you. So you just want to split the harness like this, and pull the wires apart. Just give yourself like 6, 12 inches. Don't make it short like Bobby does. That way, if you do go to put on the jumper post for the battery, it actually reaches and extends.
So we're gonna do the negative first, we'll do the blue, cut the blue. Now back on our tender wire, remember the positive leg is actually me negative. So I do it first so I don't forget, cut it here. I do one side at a time, that way I don't get confused. If you get confused, you're gonna blow the fuse on the tender lead on the bike, and then you're gonna wonder why it's not charging. And if you do manage to hook it up without blowing the fuse, the tender is not going to light up. It's not going to let you try and charge the battery while it's backwards. So now we're going to solder the XT connector on first. So you're going to need two XT60 connectors because you're only going to use the male side for the charger. You can discard the other male side. And then the two female sides are actually going to go on the two different ends. So you want to go ahead and tin your wire. Then you want to apply solder to the inside of the XT60 connector. And if you pay attention to the XT60 connector, it's actually labeled positive and negative. So we're working on the negative side, which is the opposite side. I know a lot of people struggle with the XT60 connectors. It's the easiest way to do it. You apply solder to both sides and then you heat it up and join them together. That's the positive side, that's the negative side. Now we have quick disconnect. Then we're going to tape it, make it pretty in a sec. Now we have to do the other side for the clamps. I love these soldering irons. I get them for like $40 or $50 on Amazon. They work really good. Obviously, we have a bunch of them at the shop. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention, 
doing this will 100% definitely void the warranty on your braille charger or whatever charger. These companies do not want you cutting the plugs off. But um, you're doing this at your own risk. Don't get upset with me if you break the charger and braille won't give you another one. So we got it all wired up. We got it plugged in. You want to verify that it works. So negative on the negative lead, positive on the positive lead. And there we go. 14.4 volts. Now I'm gonna remove the alligator clips. Can you see alligator clips, Peewee? See, so we got 14.4. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the alligator clips. there we go 14.2 so we know it's working now we're gonna go over plug it into the bike okay remember I told you on the bike it's labeled so positive is this one negative is this one um, the negative ones always the one that's exposed that way if it accidentally touches something it doesn't short out and blow the fuse because it's just ground so the insulated one that's hidden is obviously positive but it is labeled here there's positive there's negative so now, when we get our virgin tender wire, and you line it up, since it's supposed to be on the battery like this, it would end up like this. But since we need it to plug into it, we have to reverse it and make it go this way. So then our negative side, which is here, comes around and ends up being on the fuse holder. I'll prove it to you with the meter. So I'm going to put my positive probe on the negative side and my negative probe on the positive side. And it's showing me positive voltage. So I already knew, but I just confirmed that this is our negative leg. So now we have our braille. And we're going to plug it in. And now we're going to verify that it's charging. And there's our 14 volts as we charge. Now I'm going to disconnect it. We're going to get the voltage drop. There we go, 13.5. So it's that simple. So now you can have your factory Harley tender plugged into your braille charger. Both lights are red because it's charging. Once the light goes green, you can unplug it. Easy, simple, don't have to remove the seat, can still use your factory tender. Hope this helps. Okay, so in closing, so lithium battery charger or um, any battery charger as a matter of fact, uh, a lot of the tenders are between one amp and four amp. So if you want something that's gonna charge the battery faster, you can buy any charger or maintainer that you'd like they all come with the standard end and then cut it and do the little mod that I just showed you. Now, keep in mind, this will void the warranty on the charger. So if you do that uh, and then the charger goes bad, the don't expect Braille or Limitless, whatever charger you do this to, to warranty the charger because you're modifying their product. Uh, we haven't had one go bad yet, but I'm just forewarning you. Um, it's pretty inexpensive. So I just looked. I got these. Uh, $10 for a two-pack. I'm going to put all these links below in the description. So this is the tender plug. It's made for solar panels, battery maintainers. It's made for a bunch of different stuff. But it has a positive and negative eyelet, tender connector, water cover. So it's uh, 10 bucks for two. XT60 connectors, you get a bag for like $10. You're going to need uh, two pairs of connectors. And then you're going to use three out of the four connectors that come in the pairs. Soldering iron, you can pick one up at Harbor Freight for like $10. I like this one. I have a solder station that I use, but it's like four or $500, and I don't let my employees use it. 
but I did buy 10 of these from around the shop, so it cost me four or $500 to buy 10 of these. They're literally all over the shop, and on top of that, I provided all my techs with the Milwaukee uh, cordless soldering iron. So we literally have like 25 soldering irons in the shop. We literally have 10 of these. There's one in every corner of the shop. We have a solder station that has eight of them just on the solder station. So I like it because if it breaks, it's no big deal. It's $40. It comes with everything. It comes with the helping hands on the side. It comes with a roll of solder. And if you forget it on, it will time out after, I think, five or ten minutes. And then as soon as you touch the dial or move it, it turns back on. Um, so I see a lot of value. in $40... It heats up really fast. We can solder 10 gauge cable, no problem. So $40 for a soldering iron, or you already have one, or you can buy one from Harbor Freight. You can buy a cheap one for like 10 bucks. So soldering iron, 40 $10 for the tender connectors, $10 for a bag of XT60s, some heat shrink, uh, or electrical tape, or test tape, and then uh, it's simple. So there's your tender connector. It plugs into the Harley. Disconnect that. There's your alligator clamps, and then you can charge the battery like normal. It's a simple mod. We do it to every single uh, lithium battery charger that we sell with the batteries. That was just easier for the client. Nobody wants to take their seat off or fiddle underneath the bike. You have it plugged into the wall. You get home. You plug your bike in. It's done. It's easy. Uh, so I hope this helps. Talk to you guys later.